Hi there, namaste, and welcome back to another spiritualistic pick a card reading. Today we're taking a look at what you need to know right now. So please take a deep breath, drawing the energy up your spine and creating a clear energy channel. As you exhale, allow yourself to come into clear knowing which group or groups has a message in it for you today. We have group number one on the left with Biosyn blockage. We have group number two in the center with karmic lessons. And we have group number three on the right with signals from Sirius. As always, I'd like to thank you so much for being here. I'd like to let you know the timestamps are listed below in the description box, as well as any information you might want from me. And again, I just want to let you guys know that I love you. <laughs> so I will see you at your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I love what I do. So I'll see you there. Namaste. Hi there group one, namaste, and welcome to your reading. Today we are taking a look at what you need to know right now, and you selected the Biosyn card with blockage. Now, this is really beautiful. Um, actually, what I'm getting from this card is that you're going to be speaking your heart, or you're going to be speaking up about something. If there is some sort of, I'm hearing like travel block, I'm hearing travel restriction or communication restriction. If there's something like this, where there's maybe a means of expression, something that is a part of you that you like to express. Maybe you love to travel. Maybe you love to sing. Maybe you love to love. <laughs> There's a form of expression here that you haven't gotten to do in a while. And what you need to know is that all of these obstacles are going to be removed from your path. Now they're showing me Ganesha. Ganesha is coming through in your reading, the removal of obstacles. And he, he also presents himself as a um, six-legged elephant. So elephants can be significant. They're showing me um, a scene in nature, like they're literally showing me um, Yosemite with um, the park shorthand here for Yosemite. Um, and they're showing me en, which is in French, it means like to be in something, roughly. Um, so there's something where you have noticed perhaps other people have certain opportunities, or maybe you've been seeing something on social media that looks really cool, you haven't been able to do it yourself. Um, maybe there's something that you love to do and you're reminiscing on it a lot. Either way, there's some sort of energy here where there's something that you've been striving for or something that you've really, really wanted to tap into. And any obstacles that have been here, I'm hearing um, this on Coming of Age, I think it's Foster the People. Um, I could be wrong though. <laughs> um, with this age here, um, there's something here where this is being unlocked for you because finally you are like ripe enough, like a fruit. You have enough abundance, you have enough harvest. And if there's a part of you that's like, I don't know, like maybe it's almost there. You could just push it a little bit. This is, um, your spirit guides are saying that this is an illusion. You have more than what you need. Um, some of you, you might want to look at maybe budget options, or maybe you're overestimating the cost or the price or the amount of energy or time or something that will go into something because you've been used to needing to compile a certain amount of maybe skill set, maybe money, maybe courage, uh, maybe time in order for you to take the step. And so when you look at something like, oh yeah, that's something I'll do eventually, now it's time to do this. So now you're being asked to acknowledge that these obstacles are being removed for you and be courageous enough to pull that tomorrow vision into today or maybe literally tomorrow now oh hi chad my bearded dragon just came to say hi he never visits during the readings so i'm gonna let him say hi what you need to know right now is that you have already stepped into this next chapter of life you may have been listening to readings lately or meditating and getting some sort of um, downloads or information or something lately that's telling you that you've been closing out chapters and you're about to step through a new door or you're about to step into the next chapter. What you need to know right now is that you are there. You're in this new chapter now. And there's a way that you express yourself or something you've been wanting to communicate or a way you'd like to express, take it however it resonates for you, that is going to allow you to literally oh hello it is going to allow you to follow your heart and you're going to feel very comfortable and confident going for this because it's going to be for you you're going to absolutely love it and you're already in this next chapter of life so you're a lot closer than you might think i'm gonna pull your tarot cards now and i'm gonna see what you need to know right now group number one i'm hearing expect a positive response Okay, so there might be something going on here. Um, maybe you are waiting to hear back from somebody. Okay, maybe you put out a project um, and you are 
waiting for the release date or you're waiting to see the response okay maybe you told somebody that you liked them and you're waiting to hear back or something like this um but i'm here to tell you to expect a positive response okay we have the sun at the back of the deck which is wish fulfillment external um external expression external persona the way that you are viewed it's also um your wants wishes and desires okay so group number one what does group number one need to know i just keep hearing obstacles have been removed obstacles have been removed okay so let yourself step into the future here two of wands there are some things that you have been dreaming something that you dreamed big okay a while ago um judgment it's time now i just keep hearing it's time now 22 it's time that this grounds 22 is activation and with the zero on the end it like almost 220 this is 22 times like 10 times so whatever it is that you have been kind of either manifesting or something that you thought was dreaming really big or a future vision you had of your life, I'm going to tell you that it's time now with judgment and justice. <laughs> we didn't even get there yet. Um, but expect this to come through tenfold what you were thinking. Okay, maybe um, you're planning a trip and maybe you think that you need more money than you do. Um, they're showing me situations. It doesn't just have to be this where maybe um, converting that van or taking that flight or the whole trip or perhaps um, getting that apartment, it's going to, you're going to have 10 times more abundance than you need or it's going to be 10 times less than you thought it was going to be. There's something like this that's going to pleasantly surprise you. The universe is saying they're throwing you a bone because it's going to be almost too easy for you, but in a way that makes it almost so that you, you don't skip out on the opportunity. The universe, like, your guides are almost saying like as if you would but if something did it would be fear of lack so all <laughs> blockages all obstacles are being removed out of your path and we have page of wands with the knight of cups letting me know that spiritually and emotionally you know that this is something that is meant for you you also know what it is that you want and you've been encouraged to follow your heart follow your passion follow your creativity more recently Maybe some of you are getting into a hobby that you've always wanted to. Um, maybe some of you are getting back into a hobby. Maybe some of you wanted to take like classes in something that you used to do when you were a kid or a hobby you've always wanted to get into. Maybe there's a creative project you put on the side or just something that you like to do and you've been really, really responsible lately and you've just been putting it off for later. Okay, what you need to know right now is that later is now. Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Emperor is letting me know that you have studied long enough. This is giving the energy of the period between okay the period between when you finish school and you get your transcripts and graduation that like buffer period in between the two so you might feel like the world is your oyster and like there's a pause at the same time this is intentional by the universe and they're asking you to be fearless right now be bold let yourself explore let yourself experience abundance in this way Right now, you are going to step into the most powerful and abundant chapter of your life. And there's this indication of you getting to do more of whatever it is that you want. Right now, the universe is trying to get you to almost like maybe act a little bit crazy. Um, not bad crazy, but what you would consider crazy. <laughs> because it's important that you enjoy yourself. It's important that you have fun, that you get passionate, that you follow your heart. Okay, you deserve... Do not just stay up all night studying or stay up all night working. You deserve more than showing up. And maybe you've been trying to reach certain goals recently. Like maybe you've, we'll just use like this trip example. It can be anything though. Maybe you've really, really wanted to visit a particular place and you've been saving up money for this aspirational trip at some unknown date in the future for like what seems like forever, okay? Um, you've been working so hard. You've been putting money aside. You've been... Um, not splurging at all whatsoever not going out with your friends you've just been um showing up and working super hard and with the emperor here this is saying that you are going to get to what feels like have your cake and eat it too not in a way where you're taking for yourself and from somebody else but instead in a way where you like you created all this space for you to have abundance and freedom because you experience such a lack of those things through restriction through determination and so that's what's happening here these obstacles are being removed from your path because of your determination in these areas of life and your spirit guides are saying they know this wasn't easy they know this wasn't fun but there's something here about letting yourself shop around a little bit too like don't buy the first plane ticket that you see um maybe there's a cooler apartment than the one that you've had your eyes on um maybe 
Maybe you want to literally go shopping, buy yourself something nice. Okay, there's something here about um, letting yourself shop around. So take that however it resonates. They're showing me us and I'm seeing ice. Okay, so maybe there's something that's been like frozen for a little bit. Um, maybe there's something you really wanted to do and you just haven't gotten around to it. Um, maybe there's a better option out there for you. Um, but this isn't something like, not to say that what you want is not correct. It is, it's following your heart, but there's something that's more either fulfilling for you out there, something that's more exciting for you out there, something that's more fiscally responsible um, out there for you, or like the same thing at a cheaper date. Like maybe if you wait another week, the price will go down. Okay, maybe if you, um, <sighs> there's, there's just something here, like they're, they're just showing me back this analogy again, that time between after you finish school and the time that you have your graduation ceremony, the time between when you do the work and close out that chapter and in between when you receive the accolades for it okay some of you might literally be receiving um like reward or recognition i am getting that there's like maybe an energy of another person coming in here or two i don't know um perhaps somebody who is like older than you okay there's kind of this energy of somebody who is around your same age and like childish mature kind of um and then there's somebody who's like at the core mature and then youthful on the outside, like kind of inverted characters, okay? So that can be the dynamic between you and somebody else, or these can be two different people in your life that are going to have um, a positive impact on you. I'm getting to tell you as well that there's somebody who you might be picking up on their energy quite a bit and you might not even know if they know if you exist or not. Um, I'm getting that they do, and they're quite fond of what they see. Okay, this can be in career, this can be in business, this can be somebody that was in your class, this can be in love, this can be a friend of a friend, or something like this. Um, somebody, somebody is inspired by you, and they see your hard work, they see your dedication, they see your, your karmic contract, perhaps. They might also see your ability to go with the flow, but also make, I'm hearing boss moves at the same time, so that's really cool. We have the Seven of Pentacles underneath Justice, okay? So if you've been worried at all about anything foundational, we have Seven of Cups here. Um, should you keep saving money? Should you postpone that trip? Should you not go out with friends this week? Should you should you go out with friends this week? Should you um, not get yourself your nails done or get that coffee outside? Whatever it is, you're being encouraged um, to say yes right now, okay? Um, you're being called to choose abundance, move abundantly, spend the money, um, book the trip, tell the person, whatever it is, the obstacles are being removed. And anything that you are afraid of losing, as soon as you let go of it, it will be reimbursed. This is, maybe you're really, really afraid to um, take that person out on a date, and you do. And maybe you drop a date amount of money, okay, on this person, and you just do it like it's no big deal. And while you're sitting down at that dinner or at that movie or whatever it is, you automatically get a deposit in your bank account of a little bit more than the amount that you just spent. This doesn't have to be money. This can be time. This can be energy. There's something like this. This can be playfulness. Um, there's something here about trusting your foundation because it's going to be, I'm hearing reimbursed tenfold because your spirit guides want you to know that the universe sees everything that other people don't. And I'm getting that there are two or three people in your life who also see everything else that most people don't okay um you might have a a peer or a coworker that really wants to be your friend who's been keeping an eye on you okay you might have somebody um a good friend who's like spiritual or psychic or something like this and they might be able to like empathically pick up on things that have been going on with you or perhaps what you've needed to go through in the past um maybe you work super super hard and um maybe not maybe like your direct boss but not the higher up maybe sees or maybe like somebody sees that you work so 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 hard and you haven't got in that promotion that you deserve um, maybe you feel like you're afraid of receiving your, um, maybe you feel like you're, you're afraid of receiving that, um, diploma, even though you already finished the courses, you finished your classes and you passed. It's this, um, this period of pause. And during this pause, maybe you have a, a chance to go to Italy for a week. You have a chance to go out with some friends. You have a chance to maybe be lazy for a few days or go see an old friend. There's something like this that's coming up and you're being... Um, called to live it up right now and not worry about the physical stuff. You're going to be reimbursed. Um, I just keep hearing tenfold and I don't know, I, I feel like I need to tell you group number one that you, you're you doing enough, you are enough, you have enough. Make the choice to follow your heart. Make the choice to have fun. Make the choice to 
move in the heartfelt direction, not in just a way that love is giving, right? Like, move in the way that love is, it's knowing that you're safe and comfortable. It's knowing that you deserve pleasure. It's knowing that it's okay to be confident, knowing that it's okay to give and receive and be grateful for these things, knowing that it's okay to express yourself and be intuitive and have faith and all of these really beautiful things. Um, you're being given an opportunity to enact these in your life. And so please take the choice. We have 77 here, meaning that this chapter of your life is going to unlock a core memory for you. And you're going to love the journey here. You're going to love everything. So allow yourself to take all of the opportunities. This is going to be a chapter of your life that first and foremost, you've already begun. And you'll realize this when you look back, if you don't already. And you're going to look back at this time in your life and notice how just chock full of pleasure and fun and exploration and abundance and bounty is here and you will um i'm hearing a particular phrase okay your guides are saying that what you need to know right now is that when you look back at this chapter of your life you will look at this and you will say this is when i truly grew into my fullest self or this is the chapter of life that made me who i am today or this is the chapter of my life where I finally, I finally did this, or I finally learned that, or I finally got to experience this. There's this energy of um, this chapter of your life making you who you are going to be and finally doing something you've been wanting to do for a long time. So say yes. Be surprised at what you're saying yes to, even if it's something that you like, but maybe it's not uh, responsible. Okay, maybe it's something that you feel like you should put off for later. Um, the universe is not only removing blockages, but it's trying to stimulate you as well. So don't just look for don't just look for healing or lack or stillness. Look for abundance and movement and bounty. And say yes. Say yes to loving every moment of your life. Take the opportunities, book the flight, and just to circle around again really quickly. Um, if you have an opportunity to bring one of your loved ones in on this, go ahead and do it. If you have the opportunity to take someone out on a date and you're worried about spending the extra money on them, go ahead and do it. You're going to be reimbursed for this. It, you're going to be grateful that you involve somebody else with this. And for others of you, if you are flight shopping, okay, um, maybe, or shopping for something at all, you might, you might notice that if you wait, um, wait a couple weeks, something that you're looking for will go on sale. Or if you wait um, a little bit, it's not, it's not about time. It's not about waiting. It's about um, shopping more proactively, right? Like putting yourself on wait lists for a flight. I don't know why flights keep coming up or um, getting little notifications when flights drop and then booking in a particular time period. Like there's a way to do whatever this is you want to do in a sense that's like emotionally and mentally comfortable for you, but also know that that doesn't need to be the case for the universe to have your back here. But um, there are options. There are options. If you're like, oh, I really want to go to, um, I really want to go to, I don't know, uh, Costa Rica, but it's so hard to get there. Okay. You'll be able to find what you're looking for. You might be, you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Okay. And you never know unless you try, you never know until you look. And if you're like, it would be super cool to go to Costa Rica and bring this friend along. Okay. Um, maybe exactly when the flights drop is exactly when that friend's free. Okay. You never know. Um, big, obstacles that obstacles of perception and ability to do things are being removed from your life right now so just say thank you and be grateful and accept these opportunities with open arms um the universe wants to see you live the life you've been working so hard for the universe wants to see you um realize that you're in the chapter that you always visualized so let that be true and let yourself sit on your throne a little bit let yourself um they're showing me somebody like in a fancy hotel room wearing like their bathrobe and like walking around with a glass of champagne like looking out the window at the eiffel tower or something and like just fanciness um so don't be afraid to live it up a little bit you deserve luxury you deserve abundance and if you have the capacity for this let that be the case and don't worry about anything external to you at this time um don't worry don't worry about the perception, external perceptions of you at this time. Um, because when you love yourself and you feel like you deserve this, other people will treat you with love and other people will treat you like you deserve this too. 
and the people in your life that are watching you right now they've been waiting for this too there's somebody who's been like watching you and like applauding you behind the scenes and they're going to be super super happy to see um maybe somebody's on like your close friend story or they get like a front seat like i don't know like a front i don't know backstage pass to your life or like a front seat or something somebody's like keeping an eye on you to see what your life looks like because they see that you work really hard they see that you're really talented they see that you have big dreams and they're like cheering you on they see that you're almost there or you're almost there or that you're finally there or something like this so there are a few people who are egging you on cheering you on um one of them is permanent and would fight for you another one um wants to enjoy life beside you and is maybe a bit more luxurious and another one is um maybe like a boss figure or archetype or maybe um a little bit more of a permanent and bigger deal archetype okay and then know that all of these things have been divinely orchestrated and that you are the one that put the hard work into it too so let yourself enjoy it when it pops up because it's popping up for you and you alone um you gotta risk it for the biscuit group one and you risked it now you get the biscuit that's just the way that it goes so be grateful and love yourself all right, group number one, that's all I have for you. This was what you need to know right now. And this was a beautiful reading and you're a beautiful being. So thank you so much for being here. I love you with my whole heart. And um, I hope you have a, a phenomenal rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful realm. Namaste. Hi there, group number two, namaste. And thank you so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at what you need to know right now. And you selected the second group with karmic lessons. Now, there's something here about finding means of expression. Um, they're showing me literally the word arm here. And with the Karmic Lessons card, there, okay, there's an example, okay, that I'm being shown through my clairvoyance. They're showing me somebody walking through, like, something cyclical, walking through a cycle, and walking through those same streams of energies from a higher consciousness. This is having closed... This is having learned all of the lessons of a karmic cycle, and then walking through them again to see you apply these lessons this does seem like something that's longer form so with mike here and um like literally mike and all this blue and the green this might be something that has you um focus on your expression on what you communicate it might also have to do with um like your astral body or your dreams or something like this as well there is an allusion here to the heart chakra um giving and receiving there's something here about allowing yourself to receive um, something, okay? Um, this can be letting yourself receive, um, letting yourself be heard is a good example, or letting yourself listen to others, okay? But primarily, the way that this is showing up is walking through particular situations that require action on your part. Um, they're showing me on at the end of lessons, which is like a French verb conjugation to indicate that it's we, like it's us doing it, okay? Um, so it's the we conjugation. And so there's something here about less is more, okay? You might be having old friends come back into your life that you let go of a long time ago. You might be feeling people tapping into your aura or um, showing up in your dreams, whether it's um, conscious on their part or not. Um, I'm getting for some of you, it will be conscious. They're trying to tap back into your energy because subconsciously, at least, they're able to feel that you are welcoming in old energies but not in a way where you are the old you in a way that it's the new you filtering through old energies that you released in order to make it to the new you okay so i think you need to know first and foremost that that is what's going on this is a new a new version of you that is re filtering old energies old people old situations so you'll find yourself in old situations some of them you might happily welcome into your life again some of them you might know that it's not worth your time and energy it will be different for every situation but i'm hearing to tell you to continue listening to your intuition and um go when you need to go okay for some of you this means taking the opportunity and going others of you this means go leave um forget about it okay and you'll know in the particular situation and if you don't have clarity yet you're being called to explore and see why you came to the conclusion or decision that you initially did okay and i'm also getting to tell you that um you've done the right thing by releasing certain people or energies or things out of your life um i'm hearing this song that i really like um it's called stupid big teeth <laughs> um it's called it's by a girl named like emmy or something like this um but she says i've been working on me but 
Um, but that doesn't mean it's been working on you. Okay, so there's something like this that's going on. For example, say you've taken two or three years or three or six months away from particular people or situations and you've grown so much that you feel ready to handle this again, okay? Your three to six months of growth is not equal to three to six months of growth of somebody else. And you might be noticing that years have gone by and some people are in exactly the same place because that's where they've decided to land or they're having a hard time breaking out of that and that's time for you to step away. Um, what you need to know first and foremost is that you've done a great job at learning all of the lessons and um, you've applied yourself to the lessons in a way that has um, broken the cycle, okay? But now you are reapproaching this for one final time to complete the cycle. Does this make sense? So every cycle, um, they say third time's a charm, but in order to break a cycle, it's three and a half times. Okay, so you stepped out of the cycle and now you must walk through the other half. So you'll notice that about half of these situations are reapproaching. The half that are, are ones that are um, either time for you to reapproach or they're the safer ones for you to step back into. The ones that are not approaching are the ones that you either don't need to go there or it's so solidified that there's no way. Okay, you've already broken like half of the cycle. The other half needs to pass. So this is where you stand in your fortitude and continue to move along, express your truth or your new truth. Okay, for some of you, you've grown and learned since then, so you might express yourself differently. For others of you, you've been the same self your entire time, and this might be situations that caused you to put others over yourself or cause you to take responsibility for others or not to express yourself or not to um, pay attention to how you're feeling or whether um, things are reciprocated. Um, energies like this. So I'm going to get into your tarot cards now. Um, there's something else that wants to come here. Okay, arms and legs. If there's a situation or a group of friends or something like this where you feel like you're the glue to everything here, okay, there's a reason for this. Um, this is an indication of one of two things. No, okay. If you are the glue in a situation, this is not a situation that naturally fits together. Okay, these are things that all love you, but if you were to leave, this whole situation would dissipate. Okay, and that is something where you might be pouring energy or attention consciously or subconsciously into something that's not meant to be um, a grounded formation, okay, at least any longer because you have grown, you have broken out of these cycles, okay, so if there's something like that in your life, um, take a look at that as well. They're saying that this this will have to do with old, old wounds, okay, old lessons, if this is something like... Um, like a job or a career or um like your home you're paying rent okay these are things where you're required okay but this if this is something like a friend group or um friends and family getting home safe at the end of the night or if this is um something that pertains to you taking responsibility for other people you helping them clean up their messes okay this is something where you're taking responsibility for something that has little to nothing to do with you okay it's time to move along with temperance and the sun here, this is saying that you have been very patient through your growth and that you have emerged, okay? You might be looking back at the um, past few years of your life and the next few years of your life and you're identifying the fact that your life looks a lot differently than it used to and that it's not even projected to look the way that it does for much longer. This is beautiful. You're being given an opportunity to um, almost nostalgically walk through old situations but also to stand in your strength and your power and follow your intuition about which ones aren't even worth going back to. Okay, you might feel old people thinking about you, thinking about coming back into your life, sending you a message, showing up at your door, things like this. Um, this is because there is an energy of um, welcoming the old in a new way in your life, okay? But this isn't old, okay? This will only be things that are healthy for you in your new newest version of you some of these things you'll feel the need to explore others of them you'll want to wait out okay again follow your intuition um i'm hearing a phrase that i say quite a bit sometimes it's the person or the situation that needs to leave sometimes it's the energy that the person or situation is in right now so you're being called to follow your judgment okay um so this is a lot of things where maybe you you left situations and you're like maybe it's not the person maybe it's just the energy they're in right now Maybe it's not the situation. Maybe it's just the way that everything's vibing and going together right now, right? Um, so those kind of things are going to be the things that are reapproaching. And because of this, 
um, you're being given opportunities to make, um, I'm hearing, like to make your final decision on these things. What is this card that's coming out as the conflict? Two of Pentacles. Okay, we have Seven of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Needing to make a decision here. We have High Priestess, Star, and the Six of Cups coming out. Okay. What you need to know right now is that it's okay to have love for people, places, and things, and know that you're better off without it. Okay, um, loving yourself and loving somebody else or another situation um, can coexist. Sometimes the healthiest thing you can do for yourself is not allow other people to like walk all over you. Or even if these are people who are sweet and innocent, even if these are people who are kind and caring, if they are not conducive to your growth, to your health, to your wellness, um, people who really love you want you to be well, regardless of what that means. Um, people should want you to be, I don't want to say should in any situation, but like, um, say that we're really close, we're really good friends, or say you're breaking up with like somebody that you've been with for a long time or something like this. Here's the Empress, okay? Manifestations coming in with the wheel. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we're going to get to this. There's a reason it's coming out here with these energies, okay? Say that you and I are in a long-term relationship and we are not making each other happy, okay? Um, if I know that you not being around me or vice versa will make the other happy, um, and realistically be conducive to growth on both of our ends, I will want you to be happy rather than wanting you in my life, okay? And hopefully vice versa, because that's unconditional love. It's not conditional love. That is what you're looking at here. Seeing where the love is unconditional, um, seeing where you can maintain your own boundaries in situations and say, oh, it really was the energy because you didn't feel safe or comfortable in one particular situation and they didn't feel safe or comfortable. Maybe if you had said, no, I'm not comfortable with that, but I still want to be around. Um, and that person would have gotten insecure. Okay. But maybe you didn't feel comfortable speaking up and it would have caused insecurity there. I do want to point out the fact before I pulled the actual cards that fell out for your reading. Okay. I'm getting that this is like, I'm hearing, um, I'll say the tofu and potatoes. <laughs> um, there is something that's coming up here where you are looking back at the past and you are almost having this this grateful appreciation, like this gratitude and this love for everywhere that you've been, everything that you are, all the choices that you have made. Um, and you're also seeing, this is another thing that's coming up here, how maybe things that, how things that may have hurt you in the past or caused a tower moment were in your best interest. Um, they're showing me somebody who maybe you make a decision that is normally against your philosophy. Okay, or maybe you do something that is a little bit out of character for you and it seems really fun. The next day you're like, oh my God, I totally regret it. Okay, and the day after that you're like, no, you know what? Actually, I'm really glad that I experienced that entire cycle going into the excitement of going into that situation, the feeling that it gave me, and then also reprocessing it afterwards, looking back at all of it with gratitude. Um, because at the end of the day, it ends up being positive. It ends up being ethereal. It ends up being spiritual. So there's something like this that's showing up and I want to let you know too that there's something big on the horizon for you and I think that you're picking up on this and this might be why some of these um I'm hearing last ditch effort situations are coming back in because some of them um will be coming along with you and this is going to be a bigger deal than you think it is okay and others will not be but again what is coming up next for you we'll get into this in a moment but it's a lot bigger um it's a lot bigger of a deal than you might be projecting or even imagining right now for some of you um working on your visualization exercises um might be a hint as to what it is that's coming or the magnitude of it okay all right okay we have the five of swords with the nine of pentacles we have the six of swords with the ace of pentacles we have the chariot with the seven of wands and we have the nine of swords lots of nines with the three of swords okay 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 i see what's going on here group number two you are very very loved and you need to know this and i think that you do know this and sometimes when you are so loved by so many people you might feel a bit of a responsibility to um maybe i'm hearing like pay them back for loving you okay not in like a self-deprecating kind of way perhaps but say you have so many people that love you okay and some of them um, if you spend time around them, maybe you slip into old, old habits or um, you know that we are a culmination of the people we spend our time around. And again, that doesn't negate any of the love that's in the situation. And you know this. What you need to know right now, though, primarily, um, sifting all of this out, raising the vibration of this reading, okay, you have a huge new start ahead for you. And this is going to be something that you've been praying for, wishing for, for a very long time. 
This will be something that kept you up at night, something that caused you to reapproach um, everything or something very foundational for you. This is something that has hurt you a few times and you figured it out. You said, I'm okay with or without it, even though you really wanted it. This is something that caused you stress, so much stress that it caused you to change your life or take charge of your situation or cut some people out of your life or something like this. And you made the choice. You had several choices and you made that one choice to pick the highest vibrational timeline. Now you're being given an opportunity to go back and reassess all the timelines that you did not select and see what can, um, what can serve you now maybe what you missed out on. I'm hearing nostalgia. I'm also hearing FOMO, okay? You're being given an opportunity to, from a mature and higher vibrational standpoint, while walking in your highest vibration, to walk through these lower vibrational timelines and see, kind of explore what could have been there, what should, what, what could have been there, what you would have experienced, but with the, like, the best head on your shoulders, so to speak. But, this decision to let go of anything that's causing you stress, anything that's causing you pain, anything like this, um, this is going to be really important because what I'm getting, we're going to get into this thing that you really need to know about right now, this big blessing, okay? There's something that's been around your aura for a long time. You were picking up on this. You felt your future you or other timelines or versions of you um, tapping in saying, love yourself harder, love yourself enough to let this go, love yourself enough to walk away, love yourself enough to make those changes in your life, love yourself enough to spend time alone, to cut these people out, to not worry about it, all of this, you just kept hearing from your future self, love yourself enough to change your life, love yourself enough to change your life, and you did the hard work, right, now we have the wheel with the empress, you have been, um, trying to squeeze, like, they're showing me, like, squeezing every drop of luck, every drop of opportunity, every drop of possibility, of hope, of inspiration, out of every last corner that you can, and you've been able to create something so beautiful with it, and your intuition has been showing you since before you started, whatever this is, that you are the one that has the possibility to change your life, and to keep this to yourself, because your inspiration, your creativity is what's going to take you there, and releasing your creative inspiration, releasing your passion is going to be what keeps you from it. And you'll notice that some of these situations around you will be ones that discourage this flow, okay? Um, and this can be in any way, okay? This doesn't need to be that um, people in your life are like, ew, don't do what you want to do with your life. Like, it can be that very much, but it can also be um, situations where it's like, oh, well, maybe you should just think more rationally, okay? Um, yeah. Even nothing beautiful or creative or conglomerate start even, like, occurred ever because um, someone let go of what they believed in, okay? Um, they're showing me, like, Leonardo da Vinci, right? They're showing me um, Socrates, Plato. They're showing me um, even Jeff Bezos, okay? Like, Lizzo. Like, everybody, everybody, everybody who has done something with their life at some point was in a position where they they had to do it anyway, right? Um, and they're drawing me to the Mother Teresa prayer, to the anyway prayer, which is so beautiful because it was never between you and them. It doesn't mean there's no love here. It was between you and God, you and source, you and you, you and yeah, God, the universe. So what you need to know, group number two, is that this chapter of your life that got you to take all of those physical, tactical changes to apply your inspiration to change your life, the part of you, that little future version of you that was like, do it, do it, do it, you can do this, right? That is the version of you that you're stepping into. And there's a huge, they're showing me like a huge explosion that is occurring. And you are right in the middle of it. And in the middle of, they're showing me um, like an event horizon, okay? We know that whenever there's a singularity, um, Whenever there's a singularity, one particular point in time, call this a core memory, call this the moment that changed everything, call this a, a quantum event horizon, whatever. There's going to be chaos on the way in and chaos on the way out. Why? Because everything gets jumbled up. The old, the new, time and space be become even more relative. They become jumbled, right? And we know that in this process, you are doing a lot of work physically, so energetically, See, things feel really slow. You do a lot of work spiritually, so physically things are moving really slow, okay? Because time and space are on opposite timelines. 
If things move fast in time, they're slow in space. If they're fast in space, they're slow in time. That is the theory of relativity in the third dimension, in the fourth dimension as well. But what you're seeing is that this beyond the fourth dimension, this fifth dimensional or higher, depending on however you resonate with your life, um, there, there is this unconditional love that has been anchored through you, through the fifth dimension and beyond. That was telling you this chapter of your life was about to occur. So now you're experiencing this jumbled up, um, almost displacement, okay, um, non-congruency um, of all of these energies coming back around towards you, all of the ones that you said, well, maybe it's not the person or the situation, maybe it's the energy. So all of these are showing up sporadically and you're being given the opportunity to take these opportunities, see them for what they are, make a final decision with your intuition and see how you can either enter or leave these situations by putting yourself first because that would have been the theme here. Loving yourself enough to show up or loving yourself enough to walk away. And that's what you're seeing. Now, I'm gonna pull a little bit more clarity here about this big blessing, because this seems like what you really need to know is confirmation that this is on its way, but you need to know why things kind of look the way that they do right now. So pulling this up and over i'll do this energetically just to make it easier vibrationally on all of us you want me to look at what's hiding underneath the queen of pentacles here okay so the only to put these literally on top queen of pentacles you're going to be receiving abundance with your eyes closed i'm hearing someone say i could do this in my sleep okay you're going to be receiving abundance with your eyes closed some of you literally you might notice that um maybe your spotify store starts making money while you're asleep Okay, maybe some of you um, get a settlement check you weren't expecting. You wake up to more money in your bank account. This doesn't just have to be money either. This can be you wake up to um, 10, 10 texts in a row from your favorite person. And you're like, whoa, I haven't heard from you in forever. Okay, um, physical, in a material, tangible sense, you're going to be receiving abundance literally with your eyes closed. Okay, and I'm loving, okay, first of all, I love that she has her hair wrapped because she's a, a spiritually protected queen. But I also love that her little crown, it's like, um, like they're... They look like antlers, which is beautiful. And they also look like um, like twigs, like they're made out of like twigs off of the ground. And that's gorgeous. We love a natural queen, okay? Regardless of whether you like wear makeup or bras or anything, or you don't, that has nothing to do with this or your gender at all, obviously whatsoever. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that there's something about your ability to see the highest vibration of everything. Like you, maybe you're the kind of person that talks to the trees. Maybe you're the kind of person who sees nature as God and the whole universe, or you see the connectivity between everything. Maybe your spiritual hygiene is on point. So it lets you kind of step into these situations again to um, practice your energy work in like a different way. That can be something that some of you are going through as well. Maybe some of you don't really go out to, um, to clubs or to concerts or something like this. Maybe you don't go out into super, maybe you've been hermiting for a while. You haven't been around large groups of people. But your energy work is so precise that now you're being called to go back into these situations to see like to see like almost to um i'm hearing like add weight okay it's like um not to strength train but to kind of see like the strength like how far you've grown okay so some of that can be significant as well and in these situations they're showing me that if you like are spending money it, you'll get reimbursed right away they're showing me that if you are spending energy it'll get reimbursed right away like there's something like this where something is just be, um turning easy for you this karmic lesson it's like she knows that she's walked this path a trillion times before and she also knows that she's learned um she's learned all that she needs to learn to be out of this out of the cycle out of the situation she i've seen this card a million times and i'm just like in awe of her right now like i'm like look at this freaking queen oh my goodness gracious queen of pentacles i think i'm falling in love with you anyway we have two of cups the king of wands oh just kidding she got someone here <laughs> page of wands and the eight of cups okay so what i'm kind of seeing here what i'm definitely seeing here your creativity your passion your allure is drawing something in okay i'm hearing big fish in a big pond okay which is a big deal <laughs> um and this is something that you felt was divinely guided and look where the two of cups this um culmination this perfect event this faded event this um perfect union okay of you and situation you and event you and job you and your goal okay look where it is between the 66 this unconditional love 
between this timeline weaving that you've done together in order to create abundance that you deserve better than this you just you love yourself enough to change your future and um put that hour or that week in right now or to walk away from that situation or to step back into that situation whatever it is put it on ice with the page of wands and the eight of cups this is really significant the the king and page of wands now i don't always read it like this but they're showing me like this is a lot of fire king of wands this is literally the most fire in the uh minor suits but the king plus the page it's like they're coming up to um to really um almost not exaggerate but to create an exaggerated sense of how large of a situation this is fire spiritually right and the high priestess with the empress clarifying these two it's like it's not just the king it's the king plus the page this is like larger than your best case scenario which is what's coming in and so notice that we have like refreshing water on both sides of this okay this is something that would have been really emotionally charged and you were just like trying to push the wheel forward you did you felt the luck you followed jupiter i love here with the wheel that is number 10 because 10 is saturn and it's restriction it's also discipline um it's hard work but the wheel also does indicate luck and fortune and it's kind of this culmination of two things it's when you work hard enough to get lucky it's when you are um lucky enough to show up and keep doing the work to maintain that um it's this um showing up when you don't want to 12 closing out the cycle knowing that everything is the way that it should be and that the way that you feel is pretty much the most relative thing or like the way that you feel tells you where you're at but what's happening in your life um to continue showing up throughout these situations anyway or to remove yourself from them and the star and the page of swords expect Expect to find out that you're seen, that someone's been watching you. Someone may have been manifesting you or something that you've been manifesting to see you may, may be, okay? You might feel a bit of a, of a guardedness towards walking towards this person or towards the situation because they might be walking towards you. For example, they're showing me, um, whenever I get like LinkedIn notifications, you're like, this many people checked out your profile this week. There's something here about um, maybe there's a company you really want to work for. Or maybe there's somebody you really want to work with or somebody you really want to be friends with. But you're like, I, I know I could. They're just literally like a text away or a DM away. Or um, you could just send in the application. But there's something that's been stopping you from being the one taking action. Because you're meant to be the receptor of this. Okay? They're showing me very clearly with these cards that the situation is going to come towards you. And that's why you're picking up on this energy. I think that it was aware of you before you it. Or um, the situation wanted to come towards you and was vibrationally checking it out depending on how spiritual um depending on how like spiritually knowledgeable this energy is or depending on the density of the energy of the situation because both can kind of do the same okay somebody sees you as peace they also see you as knowledgeable as an intellectual there's something here where someone feels like they have something that they can learn from you and they also feel like um you are i'm just hearing a huge love bug that would be like a very beautiful um, addition to their life, okay? A very beautiful addition to, yeah, it's like their life. Like maybe the um, the owner of this company you really want to work for, maybe. Um, they, like this is a situation where the boss really likes you as a person and wants to be around you. And they see that you're great at your job. They see that you're very knowledgeable. They see that you deserve it, that you work hard for it, and that you would never like put yourself in the pool of everybody else who's like, tugging on that person's coattails or something like that this person sees you as like um pure and loving and valuable and they would want to be like your friend they would want you to be in their life long term now of course this isn't this can be business this can be a friend this can be romantic this can be um just walking down your street okay take this how it resonates but this is going to be something that creates like we have the empress with all of this fire here we have the chariot with the ace of pentacles and the seven of wands and the high priestess this is going to be something that solidifies that new visualization of your life that you've been having all this time. That vision that you had when that future version of you was tapping on your shoulder saying, hey, hey, you should do this today. You should do this now. And they kind of showed you a glimpse, a sneak peek as what that life would look like if you did. This is the chapter that's showing up for you now. And you might be noticing you having... um like less need to connect with this future version of yourself or you might be showing um feeling like they're not showing up for you as much with little pieces of advice and it's because you are alchemizing into them 
You're a lot closer than you think. The situation is right in front of your right in front of your face. It's under your nose. And with the Eight of Cups, you're walking towards something beautiful. But this is a situation. The reason why all of this wanted to come out first before we hit this blessing is because what you need to know right now is that it might look or feel like you're walking into a chapter that stressed you out. It might look or feel like you're walking into a situation that um, might have hurt you in the past. But there's this inner knowing here. There's this inner knowing that you're walking towards the light. And not being afraid to walk, walk through a forest because you've been hurt by a forest before. Not being afraid to make a new friend because you were hurt by a friend before. Or fall in love or work at a business or um, to collaborate with somebody or whatever situation this is for you. Because your life is your own, we're all individual, but the stream of energy isn't going to lie. So right now, you are, it's like you're applying what you've learned to the situations that you put a pin in. But the ones that you like washed your hands totally clean of, those aren't going to be popping up again. Okay, so somebody needed to hear that as well. Continue to, um, it's like, this is funny, they're showing me here, it's like, it's almost time for you to sit in meditation and tap into that old version of yourself and say, hey, it's okay, we got this. Just put a little bit of time and effort into it, just like you heard to get you to where you are. They're showing me somebody like, as soon as she gets to the top of this little baby hill right here, she's going to sit down, turn around, and whisper to her old self. And her, because I don't know why I said her, this isn't really a gender telling card, but um, you are almost at that point where it's time for you to whisper into your old self's ear. So what you need to know right now is that you've done a phenomenal job. Um, not to get confused by the situations that are occurring before you right now. Um, let yourself walk through them, high vibrationally, but also grounded, okay? And whatever this is that seemed too good to be true, and so that's how hard you worked, but you still thought it's too good to be true, and now maybe you can't tap into that as easily, it's because it's right under your nose. And you'll be noticing signs and synchronicities too, of course, because with all these culminations of cards, there's no way that you're not. And also, I want to um, note that kind of the, the main cards in your spread here, they create a pentagram, okay, a five-pointed star. And this, um, now it means a lot of different things in a lot of different religions, but what it symbolizes in alchemy is the human body, the head, the two legs, and the two arms, Okay. Um, this is why it means protection, because when something weird happens in spiritual realms or when you open up something, what do you do? If you're not drawing to light, you ground. And that's exactly what this is. You are grounding all that you've been working really hard for. And you need to know that it's right underneath your nose. And I'm seeing 10 and 10 here. I'm also seeing 12, 10. So that can be significant too. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Because with the knight and the page it's kind of giving instead of 10 out of 10 it's giving 12 out of 10 energy expect communication okay about um honestly this hermit about how far you've come how graceful you have been while coming this far um how much you've been able to heal yourself and others how you've walked a path alone to maybe a place that only those who are brave enough or um spiritual enough or show up enough, determined enough, can even get to in the first place. And only those people can even see that you're there. So that's an indication too, to trust whatever this is that's coming into your life. Um, oh, we love that Six of Pentacles. Again, reciprocity. I love this coming full circle because this is something that was showing up in the beginning of your reading. Express yourself, like, um, express yourself fully at this time. Don't be afraid. Don't hold yourself back. Um, they want me to see what's under the tower again. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. The Knight of Wands. You are inspired to keep parts of yourself to yourself while you were working on this. This is kind of giving, um, do the work and then say what you did instead of say you're going to do something and then find out if you're going to do it, okay? Um, you, you did something and then you spoke on it. And because of that, it's like that energy is what makes you, what made you you. Because that is internal. That's not saying, oh, I'm going to do this. That comes from ego. It's um, saying, oh, I can do this to yourself. I can do this. I can do this. I'm going to show up. I'm going to do it. That's an internal process. 
Someone sees your internal process. And this is a situation, like many others, but in a positive way where it takes one to know one. And that's why this reciprocity is guaranteed. That's why the culmination of events, it starts off, yeah, you're going to get your, your bag, you're going to get your home, you're going to get your material, um, your group of friends, you're going to get that material thing that you seek. But that's why it's showing up as wands. That's why it's showing up as major arcana with the empress and the high priestess. Look at this. Like this, this is you, the empress with the high priestess, with the hermit and the wheel. Look at this. You are home when you're with yourself. Not another person, not a job, not a vibration. And that is something that is priceless. That is something that all of the, whatever it is that you do, like all of them in the world, they will rely on whatever it is that they do. They identify as their job. They identify as whatever, they identify with something other than their internal world, which is always shifting and ebbing and flowing. And that's exactly what sets you apart. Your ability to know that there's always, always, always more. And your ability to like flow with water. They're showing me somebody just kind of like um, flowing down a river. And sometimes the river will push you to the right. Sometimes it'll push you to the left. Sometimes you go straight. Sometimes there'll be a hiccup. Sometimes it's faster and slower. You just kind of go with the flow. You don't get, you don't get uh, out just because it goes a little bit to the right or to the left. You just follow the flow because you know that because you trust the, the river, because you speak to the spirit of the river, because you are the spirit of the river. Um, that's really beautiful. And so when all these little kind of things are popping up in your life right now that you maybe save for later, you'll notice that these are little um, ways to veer to the right, to the left, little, little um, piles of moss and little rocks and things like this. And they're not obstacles. It's merely the ebb and flow of life. And you've learned that you can trust the river and you've learned that you can trust the river with yourself and the river trusts you and that is something that cannot be taken away from you and again in the best way possible it takes one to know one so trust whatever's coming in for you because it's beautiful and loves you very very much okay group number two that's all i have for you today this is what you need to know right now this was a really beautiful reading um i feel like this kind of hit a couple different avenues so let me know how this resonates please in the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this reading just because it helps me out a lot and i love what i do and helping you guys out and um i love our little community so that would be amazing if you did that just for me thank you i would appreciate it anyway <laughs> i hope this helps shed love light and clarity on your situation and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day week month year and incarnation in this beautiful beautiful realm namaste hi there group three namaste and welcome to your reading Today we're taking a look at what you need to know right now and you selected the third group with the yellow signals from Sirius card. The first thing that's coming up is that there are signs and, synchrony, signs and synchronicities all around you right now and that you are starting to notice deeper connectivity between everything in your life. Apart from this, there is definitely an energy here about you know who you are. You know that it's time for the next chapter of your life. Um, I'm seeing SS and it's reminding me of a ship, so boats or ships or um, stepping into the next chapter of your future, a little bit like um, the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in, all kind of things that are coming up here. I'm getting that you have grown a lot recently and I'm hearing this song, um, Blue Sky Mind by Trevor Hall. So um, it talks about how everything is coded in and through the body Sirius um, has a large part to do with our physical um, physical makeup as well. So the Syrian Collective can be significant as well, or Trevor Hall can be significant, or that's just a good song. You might have messages in there for you. And um, before I get into what you need to know, I do want to mention quickly, group number three, that I felt called to pull out some crystals um, before I started your reading that I didn't pull out for the other two piles. So I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, I felt called to pull out my bloodstone for you as well as my blue tektite, this um, pink watermelon tourmaline. <laughs> Good find, I love this guy. Um, I have a meteorite. I pulled out my moldavite. I know a lot of them, all the spacey rocks and my rose quartz pendulum, uh, as opposed to my other pieces of rose quartz. <laughs> oh, and this bismuth. I know it's a lot, but I just really like, was like, I just want to dive into my crystals and set group three up with a really crystalline, beautiful, like vibe okay but all of these are really high vibrational stones okay um so that does not go unnoticed either what you need to know right now in group number three is that you have grown so much 
um, you are more than just seeing signals, okay, from the universe. You are presenting signals from the universe. You are like next level spiritual in some way, shape, or form. And um, your, there's something here about your growth, not just growth, but where you are at spiritually almost like sets, um, I'm hearing like sets a record or kind of sets the tone for either your community around you or something like this. Um, they're showing me kind of like, they're showing me people who are just in the beginning of their spiritual path who kind of still are holding on to that, that ego. Um, because it, it feels great to understand things, to realize things, but then um, I mean, we've all seen, we've all seen that. We've all, um, we stepped on on the spiritual path, you know, there's this energy of, oh, I see things from a higher vibration. There's always a higher vibration. Even I got hired to go. You got hired to go. We all do. You know, we know this, it's relative, but they're showing me, um, you like setting the stage or you, um, like raising the bar. Okay. For what that even means in a particular setting. Now, these crystals let me know that things are moving for you, particularly when it comes to your root chakra. So your material abundance, your safety, your security, um, maybe in expressing these things or in expressing who you are, who you really, really are, okay, <laughs> deep down in your soul. There's something here about um, no longer needing to manufacture um, a sense of self, okay? There's something here about fully integrating your, um, your soul's identity, with like your inner child, your persona, all of this, any friction or mask in between is no longer existent. And you might be tapping into different dimensions at this point in time. Um, what you need to know right now is that things are going to be moving for you very fluidly, very naturally, okay? Very, um, very without action on your part, okay? Also, you need to know that there are a lot of guides around you at this time. They're showing me at least four different collectives. I'm not going to go there because you'll, you will know who they are for you, group number three. And you do have a wish of yours that is going to be coming into fruition, and it's going to be something that is very, 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 very special, close to your heart too. Um, this is going to crack you open to some sort of unconditional love that is going to show up and then stay. Okay, um, I'm going to pull your tarot cards right now so we can get a little bit more um, substance from your reading. I'd like to point out you have the six of wands at the back of the deck and the two of pentacles at the top. Okay, there's this energy of looking for direction and finding it from within. And when you look within, um, you might be getting the answer that you don't need to do anything. <laughs> look at this. And so that might be confusing because you might be looking around, um, seeing like not where you're trying to be right? But when you ask, like, what else do you need to do? How much further do you need to go? You keep getting the message. Um, no, you're there. You're there. You don't have to do anything else. You're good. Okay. So this might have you feeling a little bit guarded. Okay. I'm hearing home away from home. Okay. So if that resonates for you, for a uh, collective, if it is a serious collective, um, or if you feel like you resonate with them, go check out my reading from them. But I'm hearing home away from home here. So if there's a person, place, thing, collective that feels like this to you, this is um, what you need to know right now. Four of Pentacles, Strength, the Star, Page of Swords with the Death card. Okay, we do have the Fool popping out at the bottom here. We have the World and the Hanged Man. They want me to take two from the bottom. They're saying not including the Fool. So we'll take this out. The Star. Oh my goodness, look. Three of Wands. We do have the Lovers popping out with the Emperor. I'm not going to pull any more because they told me not to. <laughs> um, I'm going to put them back because that's how I feel. But, okay. What you need to know right now, group number three is that there is something that you have been keeping close to your chest, but you've wanted to experience the expression of this in your external realm, okay? Um, now they're going back to you being like either a thought leader or you being so high vibrational that you don't resonate with the rest of the spiritual community, or maybe this has to do with a um, more grounded um, sense in your life, like maybe. Maybe you have been working at your trade for many, many, many years or even many, many, many lifetimes. Um, and so if something comes really, really naturally for you. Something comes really easily for you. That might be just no big deal for you, but it's super, it's a super huge deal for like everybody else. Um, maybe you are phenomenal at doing something that other people take years and years and years to train at. And you're like, yeah, well, um, you see people on level two and you're on level like nine trillion. Okay. <clears throat> There's something like this that's coming out um, and it's not coming from a, it's like not coming from a place of egoic energy. It's coming from a place of knowing that when you follow your intuition and when you've, okay, four of pentacles can indicate past life regression as well, or um, just another lifetime in general. When you know who and what you are and you stand in this truth and you manifest from this perspective and you, you begin to um, remember and re-embody gifts and skills and abilities that you've used time and time and time again. 
because the more that you remember, the more that you remember. So you don't need to um, go out of your way to fake it till you make it, to walk the tick walk the technical steps in order for you to um, look a certain way because if you did that then other people would understand it no 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 because when you're here everything comes from within and so there's this energy coming out about um knowing that it's time to i'm hearing let people in on who you are and or it's time for you to speak um speak as though you, uh, Speak as though you expect to be spoken to as who you are, okay? Um, the gorillas can also be significant. <laughs> um, I'm hearing Melancholy Hill. I'm also hearing uh, Feel Good Inc., okay? There is something here that's going on about you being ready to fully embrace this next chapter of your life, and there's almost this energy of holding it back yourself cognizantly because it's kind of like out of this cute energy, this cute feeling like you need to portray yourself as a sheep, um, even though you know that's not the case. Okay, there's something here about if you take the the humble step, if you take the um, the steps that show everybody that you are pure and clean and you mean business and you know what you're doing and you say, hey, okay, um, whatever. If you do that, then it's like you have something to show for it. But what's underneath, um, you are already aware, is far, far, far more than the largest accumulation of these external energies you could possibly compile together. And so that in and of itself, you're being called to shake all of that off, which I'm getting that you have or you have started. But there's something here about um, like the say you want to take a course. OK, the hardest level of that certification of that course of that degree is doesn't even tip. It doesn't even reach the tip of the iceberg as to what you've been doing for many, many, many years or for some of you millennia. OK, time is relative, um, but take this however it resonates. What you need to know what you need to know is that life here is short and that it really does not matter um, what you do or the way that you act. Um, now, we want to be nice to other people, of course, but um, you are so aware of the fact that you are the universe and the universe is you that you are really just treating others the way that you're treating yourself. So whether you are giving this energy to yourself directly or you're giving it to yourself inadvertently, it's all one and the same. You're very much aware of this. Um, what you need to know right now is that it's okay to take time for yourself and it's also okay for you to go explore other people too because they are just different yous in different places of life but there's this energy of um you're drawing me back here to the message i picked up in the initial card knowing that you are like a rare watermelon tourmaline and you're looking around at like a bunch of plastic rose quartzes and you're kind of like okay 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 um now i love i, I have this i love this i use it all the time um, I practice my hypnotherapy with this. This is gorgeous. Um, and it, it works, you know, it works, but there's something that is more raw, more pure, more, um, it takes more time, more like this takes lifetimes to form. Whereas this took, um, like a couple machines, right. And maybe a few hundred years. And that's not to say one is better than the other, but it is to say that one is more rare, more purified than the other. That is the difference. I'm also hearing the song rare by Selena Gomez. Um, there's something here. Look, we have 2112. Okay, you've closed out a chapter in your life, of course, with both of these cards that allowed you to become aware of the depth of your mastery of something. Um, and there's this energy here. Um, I'm hearing oh, a message that came out only in one other reading. Um, if you saw that, then maybe you're from that pile too, but I'm hearing humbleness as a coping mechanism. Okay. Um, there's something here where you, maybe you were literally like four years old and you were like a gifted medium and every single thing that you said was perfect. You remembered all your past lives. You knew what was going on and you were helping people laying on hands, miraculously healing them. I don't know. Um, this Maybe you're really good at, at Jenga. I don't know. Whatever this is that resonates with you, it certainly seems spiritual though. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, but this is a general reading. There's something here where it's never been a secret. It's never been an accident, okay? But maybe you're like, oh, well, <laughs> like, I know, like, oh, that's so silly. I mean, I can explain to you piezoelectricity and, like, quantum mechanics, but you probably won't get it. So I'm just going to say, haha, I like to think that sometimes Reiki is kind of like a thing, whatever. Like, there's this, like, downplaying of it. In knowing that um, all of the universe supports that. All of the universe supports it. And there is one itty-bitty teeny tiny bit that is waking up to it. That is in the media or it's like 10 10 people who utilize that to manipulate 
people into not believing that. It's like so transparent, okay? So why is this coming up? What do you need to know right now, group number three? It's that, oh, it's time for you to speak up. Okay, because it's time for you to speak up about something because you, you've you walked an entire chapter time and time and time and time again in order to make yourself play small. Not because you wanted to, but because you were trying to um, play by the rules. Not by universal rules, by societal rules. And there's something here about letting all of this go now. It's time. It's time that you have faith and you make the choice to stand in your power because you've always known what you're capable of and the time is now for you to step into this. Now I'm getting that you've never not been able to do this, which is interesting. You've never not had this cycle closed and completed. There's almost this energy of, well, might as well just like let it pass by anyway, or um, might as well just walk the road anyway to say that I walked it, right? Um, but it's like bringing up this question of time, you know, life is short. Um, it doesn't really matter as much, especially when you're tapped into dimensions higher than the fifth and you're not really affected by time anymore, particularly outside of the sixth. Um, we have 88 indicating abundance, but this is internal abundance. This is abundance in, in strength, in your confidence, in your emotions, in your inner child, in your persona, confidence in your, um, your spirit. But what we don't see here is the eight of coins. We don't see confidence in your material realm and your ability to ground and manifest this. And I think that's why I was called to pull out the actual rocks today and line them up with the root chakra. But all of these rocks are um, like some of the most ethereal crystals that are even here. So group number three, you are about to have a lot of eyes on you. Um, I'm hearing event horizon or like a trigger moment or something like this. I don't know what's gonna happen. But um, someone's going to pull back, like, the curtain. Someone's going to open up the blinds, okay? Something is going to happen that reveals your purest, truest, honest self, okay? They're showing me, um, like, a, they're showing me a movie, okay? Um, there's not a specific one coming to mind, but they're showing me, like, I guess a storyline where um, you walk around, let's just use, like, Spider-Man, okay? Um, and then there's, a, there's always a point where everyone finds out that he's Spider-Man or... Um, Hannah Montana, okay, in the Hannah Montana movie where she takes off her wig, okay, and everyone's like, what? Like, there's this energy here where the curtain's about to get pulled out and you are going to be all that's left, the rawest, most authentic, pure, spiritual, highest vibrational, your full self, your, um, your star being, if you will, your consciousness, your, the fullest, fullest version of yourself will be seen um, to the naked eye for all to see for even those who believe this is unfathomable, to fathom. And because of this, um, you're being called to notate your journey in some way, shape, or form. Okay, whether you keep a journal or you like to keep channeled messages or maybe you keep a little um, something, um, like notes on your phone, this might be a part of your journey where you might want to start just writing down, like keeping a journal, keeping a diary. It doesn't have to be a big deal, although it can be, um, because there's something here about Notice that we go from a four to a four, but it's four of pentacles to death and rebirth. There's something here about um, infinite, infinity that's coming to mind. Um, everything finite is held within the infinite, infinite, <laughs> but the infinite is just that. The infinite holds several things that are finite, but it always goes back to the infinite. And there's something here about you where you're aware of this um, and you are this. This is your embodiment, your full embodiment. And notice that if I were to cover what's inside death here, this beautiful, gorgeous little friend here, um, you just see, you see a robe, like a cloak. You see something that's being cloaked. And you just see kind of like this ethereal little magical wave around this little dude. But when I uncover it, you see earth. And there's kind of this, this illusion going on here where it's like people are seeing your truth. And they're noticing that earth is, like, earth is your new place. Like there's something here about um, either your truth coming to light or um, someone finding out who you are or there's something here about um, noticing that you are just as natural as everything else, every tree. And this is something they're drawing me back again to that analogy in the beginning where it's like um, maybe you've been able to, um, ha to perform like radical spontaneous healings on people just through, um, just through thought or through laying on of hands like your entire life when you were a baby. 
you just remembered and you always could do it and so maybe you took like a little reiki one practitioner course so which is beautiful I've, I've done it myself too but you kind of just go through the motions so that you can say you went through the motions and you have a piece of paper to show for it whatever it is um but it's like here it's like you were the one that bestowed that onto the first practitioner it's like there's something about you where it's like well of course you do what you do you are the original of course it makes sense there's something here about um letting your full strength be seen not because like almost because it can't be helped because you always knew this part of your journey was coming not because um you were trying to show other people or change your own mind about what was possible or change other people's mind about what was possible not not because you were trying to find a um a path to even walk to close it out okay some of you um only take this as if it resonates some of you may have incarnated with absolutely no karma and so you just kind of walk around picking stuff to accumulate and then just walk through it like for funsies that's coming up as well um we do have 333 okay so it's time that and 13 1 3 333 3, 3. it's time that you are fully activated and you've been fully activated within but there's this energy here where it's like it is becoming so very obvious that everything you say is true it is becoming so extraordinarily obvious that there's a lot more to you than you've been showing it's becoming obvious that there's something here about um i'm hearing displacement theory okay um there's something very very obvious here if you've been keeping um if you've been keeping notes um from the perspective uh, from your own perspective um this will be really important someday or if you're writing down your findings or if you're drawing some like drawing something say you have visions and you're drawing them or something like this um these are going to be really important someday they're also showing me the sparrows on this card i don't know if that's what they're intended to be but there's i was just hearing sparrows okay so that can be significant those little birds um what you need to know group number three is that it's time okay you've always seen this part of your life where um your throat chakra just kind of bursted open and it's like you can't say anything that's not true your consciousness your whole self isn't capable of doing that it won't allow you to do that so there's this energy of instead of just saying and being who and what you are all the time you never didn't say it but um you kept it small or you shushed yourself or you used the terms that were the easiest to understand around you um you walked a path just for the sake of walking it to shrink yourself to be digestible these days are over and it's not really going to be from your own accord that's the thing it is because you're the one that set this entire plan into motion but it's not because something external you have to be on stage and you have to know that the stage hands are the ones pulling the curtain open okay so you're not going to be the one that is revealing this although you were never not being that okay um there's something here about you being seen deeply fully um finally is coming up as well and this might manifest as a few wish fulfillments or things that many people might see as wish fulfillments were for you it's just been part of your fate part of your destiny and maybe that's why you decided to keep small in the beginning but nevertheless your ability to express or communicate something or your perspective or um a conversation yes a conversation um is likely going to be something that awakens many you might be the kind of person um who every time you meet somebody it is only for a spiritual purpose and it always has a spontaneous awakening involved and not on your end um there's just this energy of you being yourself and walking a path just to walk it being helpful for the sake of being helpful being here for the sake of being here and always just having faith that um you're already you've already set everything into motion there is a brain out there that's bigger than yours and you're as connected to that as you are to yours and just kind of knowing that you you've kind of just set up this um run of the mill track that's just circle okay um easy for you to go around just time and time and time again and you kind of just know what you're doing um and you don't need to be there either um something like this is going to be showing up okay they're showing me like age of adeline the movie so that can be significant for you as well like that kind of timeline how she kind of just um is unsuspecting until at the end there's another one where there's like a great reveal at the end of the movie um there's something like this that's very significant that is about to occur for you and you need to know about this right now because you're being told um you're being told to prepare 
take a deep breath, um, maybe do some throat chakra work. Um, just let yourself activate knowing that it's time. Your internal world has been activated, all the rest of your chakras have been activated, and now um, the truth is about to be revealed. There's a grand reveal that is occurring for you, and it's going to put you... Uh, it's it's interesting because it's saying, like what I'm picking up here. It's going to put you where everyone else wants to be, but you're the only you, and you were you are the one that set this up because you came here to help. But you were never the one that asked for this in the first place, which is exactly what makes you worthy. There's this energy like this, like um, not all heroes wear capes. Um, it is the like the the meek shall inherit the earth. This kind of energy. And there's certainly something here about what has always been yours will always be yours. And maybe you remember all of your lifetimes. Um, maybe you remember where you've been. You remember your soul contract. You know who you have already encountered, who you have yet to encounter. You know what you are meant to do, what you've done already, what you're going to do in the future. It's just all relative to you. You see it. You walk through it. Um, but there's something here about knowing where you're going because it's where you've always been. And so, sure, maybe you had a little vacation from that energy. Um, but... You're about to be, you're about to be, um, like presented or promoted or, yeah, I'm just, I just keep hearing, um, like curtain, but in the beginning, in the beginning of the show, um, it's almost like, don't be surprised that this is occurring because I'm not getting that you would be, but, um, there's certainly an energy here about feeling that it's, it's happening soon or it's happening right now. Um, there's something here about your ability to perfect and continually show up um, in maybe your craft or your abilities or whatever this is, um, but it's not hard work and it's not talent. It's your existence here in the first place. There's almost this energy here about, wait, like you shouldn't be here. Wait, like what are you even doing? Like, um, and I'm hearing um, like the God frequency. I believe it is 963, um, grounding the divine frequency into the present moment. Some people sing or they play an instrument or they paint or whatever it is, they do it at the divine frequency, 963. I believe that's the crown chakra, um, 963 hertz. There's something here where you embody this and you have embodied this for so long that it may have stirred up maybe a bit of your past maybe it caused you to need to set some boundaries and learn some people earth lessons and um move away from home or um grow in your strength a little bit but that's all old you've always been at this frequency and you're always going to be at this frequency except now um someone's showing up and identifying that that's what this is this is going to come from outside of you it will be external although nothing comes from outside of you but as a, a person in this realm, it's going to come from outside of you. Um, you might be asked to share your story or teach a lesson or a course. Um, you, there's something here about your very existence boggling the minds of those who try so hard to figure out something that comes so naturally to you. And it's not because you did or didn't do anything. It's not because you did or didn't learn anything or take a particular course. It's not because somebody sat down and taught you. It's because it is who and what you are in your soul and you are the energy that taught the first earth practitioner of whatever this is so um because of that there is some sort of grand awakening grand reveal that is occurring around you they're showing me like a, a huge earthquake that flips over all the tectonic plates um almost like an extinction event but like not of extinction of like awakening and that's kind of what you have been. You may be feeling like a density in your feet or your lower legs right now. Um, this is because they're showing me, um, they're showing me like the Nephilim, okay? Um, because there's something here about science proving something, you knowing something, there being evidence of something, but still for some reason, like a, a very actually minority group of people um, going, oh, no, 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 that, that's not a thing because I don't want it to be a thing because that's not what my news channel said, even though all of that's controlled by the same five people, even though everybody knows because everybody has access to truth. There's something here about you 
that fits this fits this persona, fits this um, trademark. Vibrationally, it isn't and can't be anyone else's. So, as this vibration has been being attempted to be pinpointed for such a very long time, you are here, and you come around, and it's unmistakable. Although, that fact in and of itself perhaps triggered others into trying ego. You're drawing me back to that, um, that dynamic that came up in the beginning, the, the watermelon tourmaline versus this like very, very plastic rose quartz. Both are beautiful. Both are on a journey. Both are very um, useful and gorgeous, but one is manufactured. The other one is crystalline. There's a difference there. Now, what you need to know, group number three, is that it's time now. And you may have spent a period of your lifetime outside of this energy that you are literally always in, and I'm hearing you got to enjoy the vacation. And what you are is something that has been sought after for millennia. I'm hearing, oh my goodness, um, I'm hearing the intro to Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, might be because I'm a nerd, might be because there's messages in there for you. I don't know. Take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. <laughs> um, but with the world and the hanged man, it's like, I'm seeing ore in the world, and then the hanged man, like, her hanging upside down, literally, the hanged man, is um, really standing out here. It's like, you're showing people that, it's like, this and that can be true because there's yin and yang, but there is larger than duality. And you can't fit anything in a box. Um, some Something that's only linear only looks that way because it's zoomed in enough to not look like a circle. Things only look like a circle because it's seen from a higher perspective, but not high enough perspective to see that it's a spiral. Um, so that's kind of coming up here too. There's this energy of you being like way, way, way more advanced than what you're actually doing. And that's okay. Um, but you've mastered, you've mastered yourself time and time and time again. You've mastered everything that you're doing. I'm hearing uh, Master of Puppets by Metallica. Um, you could have messages in that song too. Um, but like we have literally th 33, 313. Um, it's like they're showing me 3333 three, 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 and Aries is how they're presenting it to me. It's like you are fully activated. You are ready to go. 88. Everything has been in the divine blueprint for all of time. And um, Aries, it's time to start anew. And that's, that's really all you need to know, group number three. I think that, um, I think that you already know this. I think that I definitely know you already know this. Um, but that external confirmation, especially when it comes to energies like this, certainly, certainly help. And I think that you're beautiful. Thank you for being a part of our collective and doing what you do every single day. And continue to shine bright like the sun. The sun doesn't apologize for providing life to all of us. Um, and our sun isn't even the only one in our solar system, let alone the only one out there in existence. You are one of these infinite number of suns, so don't feel bad about being that, because you are, and you just so happen to find yourself right here right now, which is kind of cool. So um, just know that this, um, this moment is coming very soon, and um, you will be seen the way that you once were. And... Um, it, it's gonna shake stuff up, okay? You're, it's gonna shake stuff up, but um, it's not anything you haven't seen coming. Keep being yourself, keep standing strong, and um, know that this ship is gonna set sail and you're gonna be on it, and just be the you you that you can be. That's all you're here to do anyway. Um, enjoy the process and um, keep an eye out for the signs. That is all I have for you, group number three. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity on your situation. This is what you need to know right now, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful realm. Namaste.